caught a fish guys I'm just randomly casting some bait here bottle fishing and I think I've got something now yeah I definitely do tiny oh boy this could be a new species oh my god this could totally be a new species for me now this is some kind of leporinus but I'm not sure if it's a new leporinus for me or not holy man look at that cute 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 little fish look at those little spots baby leporinus I don't know if it's a new species or not I'm not sure if it's uh, because when they're tiny they're very hard to tell but I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna take a picture and I might keep this fish to use for live bait because I'm gonna I'm gonna drift downstream for Dorado now and I'm gonna keep this little guy for live bait there we go first fish of the afternoon after the little leporinos and some micro fishing what did I get now oh little catfish oh this is a wow this is a huge pimelodela this is actually the biggest pimelodela I've ever caught take a look at that singing catfish this is the pimelodela I forgot the name but it's not the one I catch back in my hometown it's a different different species I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but this one is like more elongated it also has a more depressed head than the Gracilis pimenodella still very gorgeous little catfish though okay time to let it go there you go buddy thanks for biting Okay, third species of the day. I mean, actually, it's like the fifth if, if I include the, the micro fish that I caught for bait, but I'm not counting those. So that's a third species for today. Pretty cool. I have another one. Yep. There is another Pimelodella. Oh, this is the. This is not the same Pimelodella. Is this the one? Is this just Gracilis? This is the one I catch back in my hometown. I'm not sure. Yeah, this looks like a Gracilis Pimelodella. Like the eyes are bigger, the head is longer, and the body is like shorter. Huh. Although I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's just a Pimelodella Gracilis. Maybe another species of Pimelodella. I'm gonna take a picture just to make sure. Okay. Very cute little catfish. Time to let it go. Bad. Two species already. Let's see. I mean, three species if we include the leporinos and the, oh, four actually. If we include the leporinos and the micro, and now two species of catfish. That's pretty cool. Did pretty well. Got it. Another fish. Another little pimelodella. Okay, there we go. Another little cat. There it is. Pull these out here. There we go little catfish okay same old Gracil uh, Pimelodella catfish annoying little bastards this place is full of them something's biting something's on oh do I have it do I have a fish did I catch something oh no man piranhas are here god damn it oh boy I thought I was gonna be able to avoid the piranhas but apparently they're here oh that sucks it's gonna make things so much more difficult okay so i thought that i could escape the catfish fiesta by using live bait but it turns out that the spot is um is plagued with piranhas well and not big ones they're tiny piranha that, that are eating my bait and I cannot catch them so this is really annoying I'm gonna have to insist and hope that eventually some bigger fish will come along and maybe I'll catch something today otherwise it's gonna be a very monotonous afternoon piranha after piranha catfish after catfish tiny little fish there we go guys fish on I think I have a piranha finally something new something different and it's not a piranha, it's just a catfish who ate. Look at this, I'm using 
catfish as bait. The same catfish that I'm hooked right now, the same species. So this is a cannibalistic catfish. Holy cow. I got a cannibalistic catfish today. Man, I wasn't expecting this to happen. I'm using, I mean, I was using catfish as bait to try to avoid catfish, maybe catch a piranha, you know, something new. And instead I caught a cannibalistic catfish. It's even a, it's a tiny one on top of that. I'm gonna keep this for more bait. There's tons of them around. Okay guys, I got something. This feels heavier than usual. Oh, just a piece of plastic bag. Ugh. Man. Get all excited because you're pulling something heavy. It's a piece of trash. Come on. There we go. That is something. Come on, Piranha. Show yourself. Woo -hoo. Oh, Marky Nazis Piranha. Oh boy. What a cutie. Man, that's a pretty. This is actually the first piranha I catch in this river. I've never caught a piranha in the Tebiquarter River before. And it's very nice to see a Marquinatus piranha. A gorgeous specimen. Look at the red fin, man. That's a beauty. The spots, the fin, the shape of the mouth, the beak. It's almost like a beak. Here we go, guys. I've got something good. It's pretty heavy on the on the line. Ah, is there a piranha? I think it is. Fights like one. Oh yeah. Another good marginatus. Look at that. Pretty cool little fish, huh? Very pretty. They're really pretty. At this size, they're at their prettiest because they get like super red tail. I mean fin and all that. All pretty cool. Okay, one last look and let's let it go. Okay guys, I got something huge. I've got something huge on this. Something really, really big. Man. It's either that or a piece of garbage. No, it's, all, it's a fish and it's big. Whatever it is, really big. Oh, it's a stingray. Oh, no. That's not good. I don't want to have to deal with the stingray from, from here. That's annoying. It's just a motoro, not even a new species. Oh, man. Now, that's annoying. I don't want to have to deal with a motoro from here. Let's see what I can do, because I don't want to let this guy die either. Now, where are my pliers? First thing I need is pliers. This guy is tiny. Okay. Very slippery, slippery tail. Oh, there he goes. Hope it survives. That wasn't easy. Wasn't easy at all. Hey guys, I'm just resting here in this spot and actually I'm getting some bites. I decided to drop some baits. I checked the, the water depth over there and it's actually just a little over two meters ar around actually a little under like 1.8 between 1.8 and 2 meters which is is good enough for some fish to be lurking around so I decided to, to drop a bait and see what happens and I'm actually getting some bites which is pretty cool. I also dropped a little tetra, life tetra, see if maybe I get lucky. I don't know if catfish ever enter this little it's like a little creek coming out of here. So maybe there is traffic from bigger fish sometimes, and I get lucky today. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But I'm definitely getting some bites in this. 
on the on the worm. We'll see what happens. Guys, I wasn't the camera was off, and sorry for that. But I caught a little, uh, not a little, a uh, huge tetra. Look at that. This is uh, this is either Astyanax. This is probably Astyanax lacustris. Big specimen of Astyanax lacustris. Probably one of the most, if not the most. Well, one of the most common tetras, definitely the most common of the Astyanak genus around here. Very beautiful little tetra. I will keep it. I will keep it. I don't know if I should keep it actually. I'm just gonna let it go. It's too big. I'm not gonna fish for anything this big now. I, had, I don't have any spot to do that, so I'm just gonna let it go. Let you go. Oh, I'm gonna keep it for my cat. My cat loves tetras. He doesn't like pike cichlids, but she likes tetras. I'm gonna keep this little guy for my cat. Take a look at that beautiful tetra. I'm gonna keep it alive for now, just in case I want it later. But I don't think I will. There we go. We have a fish. We've got a fish. Oh, oh, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. Considering the spot, this feels rather heavy. Huh? Or am, am I just bringing a piece of trash or something? Doesn't feel bad at all. What is that? Another big tetra? Oh, hey! So this is a first for the channel. I'm not sure if this is a new species for me or not, because there are a bunch of fish that look like this. And they're really annoying and they're really hard to tell from each other. So this is a Pretty cool catch. Hey, no, I think this is a new species for me. Yes, this is definitely a new species for me. Nope, don't jump out. Take a look at that. No, 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 no. Oh man, something's biting on my lap bait. No, 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 don't run away. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna put it in the, the bait box while I deal with the light bait. Let's see what happens. But I have my, my rod with the light bait is. Getting some bites. Oh man, so tangled. Shoot. Come on, do I have something? No, it's empty. Okay, let's take a quick look at this fella. This is definitely a new species for me. I forgot the name of this guy. I don't know, I forgot the scientific name. But this is definitely a new species, so I'm gonna take a quick picture. Very cool little fish. Okay, let's take one last look at this little fella. Ah, it's jumping a lot. Look at the, 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 the shape of the head and the mouth. It has, actually has some teeth. It's a very unique looking fish. It has some like, like spikes on, the, on its mouth. It's really cool looking. Okay, it wants to go. Let's set it free. There you, there you go, buddy. Thanks for biting. Whew, that was interesting. Guys, time to say goodbye. This is the last fish of the day. I don't know what it is, probably just a little catfish or, or a tetra. But whatever it is, it's the last one of the day because I gotta go. What did I get? Hey, this is a, a pike cichlid. Oh man, I'm, I'm ending the day with a pike cichlid? Come on. This is definitely not what I was looking for. This is a semi fasciata, I think. Looks really odd. Not. Not so much like the semifaciadas back home, but it's definitely a semifaciada. Oh man, and it's swallowed. Well, um, looks very, very deep. So I guess this, this guy's gonna become cat food as well. Sorry, 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 little friend. But my last fish of the day, Ternicicla semifaciata. Of course I had to end with a pike cichlid. That's a gorgeous little pike. Such a shame that it has to die, but it's swallowed very deep. There's no way I can get the hook out. So just gonna sacrifice it. You're gonna become cat food. Okay guys, um, it was a pretty cool day. It didn't produce much, nothing big. I didn't catch any of my targets today. I tried for big catfish, but the piranhas were everywhere. I tried for Dorado with no luck. Um, I had other setbacks, my camera fell on the water, my, my camcorder, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to re, to repair it, to recover it, but sadly I, I have barely used it and it already fell on the water, I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll see what happens, so whatever, 
whatever happens, I'll still keep filming, I'll, sip, I'll still come fishing, so don't worry about it. I'll try my best, no matter how much effort it takes. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, I did remove the hook, so this guy is not gonna become cat food after all. So, I'll let you go, buddy. Hope you make it. Thanks for biting. And that's it. See you guys.